And that way, if anybody else, one person said they're going to get on in just a second. They were at getting their tires done or something. But okay, so today, just for a few minutes, I wanted to talk a little bit more detail about what I am focusing on this month in November just to get you guys on board so that you can have some really crazy like peace in November that maybe you haven't felt before. Um, and this is a big conviction of mine. And so um, what I did my calendar on was go for no in November. Um, and so if even my husband, when I finished my calendar, he was like, what is that? And I'm like, well, read it. And so, or get on my live video so you know what it's about. Um, but so for me, um, go for no is a term that as network marketers so in my coaching business of just reach out and share what you're doing and ask for people and go for that no because if you get no's that means you're actually doing something um, but what I wanted to do was go for no in all the negative junk um, that we encounter over the holidays and so I wanted to give you guys just a few little motivating tools to help you through November so my focus for November has a focus each week, but basically we're talking about go for no, and that is no junk. That is no, oh gosh, let me get my paper because I'm like, <laughs> um, no like clutter, no junk. So no junk food, no junk clutter in your home, no, um, no, that's not really what I wanted to say either. Let me flip back. That's not really it. Hold on. Hold on. That's what I'm, okay, that's what I'm talking about on my videos. But, okay, so no junk, which can mean no junk food, no junk, in, like no clutter in your home, no junk, like from people. That's a big one because I think oftentimes we think we have to keep people in our lives and we have to keep people on our Facebook newsfeed that are creating like junk and we don't. <laughs> um, we have the permission to remove ourselves from toxic people and toxic situations. Um, and so that's part of the no junk. And then um, no negative thoughts. So I'm asking everyone to commit to with me to shut out the negative talk that goes on inside your own head. Because unfortunately, that negative talk that we give, hey, Ashley, hey, April, I'm just seeing that you guys. Um, so we're talking about the negative junk. Um, I'm just giving some little tips on how we can create some like extraordinary peace in November. And um, also, I mentioned, I think it was two days ago, of how we can create more worship, how we can have a better worship experience through our whole month of November. And the way we do that is to get rid of all this junk. Um, and so the first part was um, the no junk includes junk food, which you guys already know about all that. Um, but in November, I'm asking you all to like really dive into the no junk part. And then that including your nutrition and really saying no to the candy and to the junk that you're offered and to the stuff that's at the parties and all that. Like literally say no. Make a commitment to yourself and knowing what it will do for you on, up here and on the inside in your heart. If you actually say no, think about if you go 10 solid days with saying absolutely no to all the sugar and junk food that you encounter, how empowering would that be? Like, just think about that for a second. I mean, you're going to feel like crazy awesome just for saying no. Um, and so no junk food is one of those. Um, another thing is no junk and no clutter in your home. I know for me, when I walk in my bedroom or I walk in my home and there's clutter and there's junk everywhere, how peaceful are you at home? when it's like that, like none, right? So that's another tip on how to create extraordinary peace during November is get rid of that. And then what about negative junky people? Um, and I know that's kind of cliche, but can you think of a few people even on Facebook like today that you're thinking, I, I, I don't, I don't think I, I don't know if I can handle them anymore. Like they're totally negative or what about family members or anyone that's creating toxicity in relationships with you? I'm saying go for no. 
Don't tolerate it anymore. You don't have to say, I'm blocking you because I don't like you. No, just unfollow them from your friends list. You can even go as far as to avoid them. But I'm here to tell you, sisters, if you are continually surrounding yourself by negative people, you will become a negative person. You will not be able to step, rise above that negativity if all you're doing is surrounding yourself by negativity. And if your husband happens to be one of those negative people, which sometimes that's the case, well, you better be getting on your knees and pray for that situation. But sometimes there needs to be some changes even in your home, whatever it may be. But negative people, is that's junk. That's going to fog your mind and fog everything so you can't see the good. And that's really what this go for no November is basically when we get rid of the junk, we're able to see the good. When we have junk and that's all we're focused on and that's all that's in front of us, whether it be food, whether it be people, whether it be clutter in our home, whatever it be, we can't see the good because all we're focusing on is the negative. So next thing was the negative thoughts. If you want to have extraordinary peace in November, like crazy cool peace throughout the month of November and not get caught up with the hustle and bustle and jazz of the holiday season, um, then we need to shut off those negative thoughts. And most often it is like negative stuff like, well, you're not, you don't have time to get your workout in today. You don't have time to do the right thing today or you deserve that treat because you've been really good over the last week and a half you deserve that extra treat all these these thoughts that you know are not right and the holy spirit's going to put it on your heart to let you know that it's not right it's a it's something that you're telling yourself but it's not true um and what about negative of it's not going to be a good holiday season. You aren't going to have a peaceful season. All the negative things that you tell yourself and you allow others to influence you with, we're going to shut them down. We're going to shut them down. And I want to give you just a small little tip because I believe so heavily in this negative thoughts that I'm going to actually have you right now um, write down a few things to start powering over those negative thoughts. Um, for me, for so long, I will, I would say you're lazy. You're not good enough. You don't have what it takes. You're not as strong as you think. Nobody really needs your help. Nobody cares what you have to offer. Your, your kids are going to look back and they're going to think you're lazy. You didn't get up when you said you were going to get up. Like literally bogs and bogs of negative, negative thoughts. And so I want to teach you a very quick, short declaration piece that has really helped me. And it's something that I believe will help you through this holiday. So we are going to go back to it in just one second. So be ready for that. But I'm giving you two more go for no's. So the first one is no junk. I want you to think about that. And I want you to be aware of the junk that's in your home, the junk that's in your surroundings, the junk that could be inhibiting you from experience, gratitude, and worship like you could be worshiping. Just be mindful of that for the rest of this month, but particularly this week. Maybe something's going to stick out at you and say, I have been needing to clean out my closet for an entire year. It's bugging me. I feel overwhelmed by it. And guess what? I'm going to go for, I'm going to go for cleaning out that clutter so that I can have the peace that I've been wanting for an entire year every time I walk in here. Do that. Like that's what this is about is refuse to allow that clutter, that junk to fog your ability to have peace. And then the negative thoughts. So we know those negative thoughts. And I'm going to teach you how that you can start overcoming those negative thoughts. The fourth thing is no giving up. We're going for no, no junk, no negative thoughts, and no giving up. So you guys are on this journey with me, right? And it's easy to say, okay, well, we're doing our fitness thing and maybe I didn't eat real well on my, well, but I actually did my workout every day. Or maybe I have eaten on point, but I'm only getting my workout in like twice a week for whatever reason. So we're not going to give up. So even if that's the case, even if you're not getting on point with your nutrition, you're not getting on point with your workouts, you're not going to give up. So in two weeks from now, when you really haven't done what you really wanted to do, you're going to shut off the negative thoughts with this little tool that I'm going to give you, and you're going to keep going. 
You're not going to give up. So I want you right now on the top of your paper to write, I will not give up. And I want you to, if you want to go back and get a little sticky note and get a little note card, write something. I want you to write on your, on your mirror at home, I will not give up. And then the last thing, well, let me go on for that for just a couple more minutes. So when you say, I will not give up, basically you're making a commitment to yourself. But one of the reasons why I wanted to have all the challengers on this call. So April, hopefully you're inviting your challengers to join us um, because I want them all to be in here is because we are making a commitment to each other. I need you guys just like you need me. And so when I say I will not give up, that means you're not going to give up on yourself. You're not going to give up on yourself as a mom. You're not going to give up on yourself as a wife. You're not going to give up on yourself as a teammate. You're not going to give up. So when you say I will not give up, when you write that, let's take that to heart and say I will not give up on me. I will not give up on me as a wife. I will not give up on me as a mom. I will not give up. And then the last thing is no excuses. Go for no excuses. So you've just said, I will not give up. But how many excuses are going to start literally an hour after we get off the call? Like how many opportunities are we going to have to be like, oh, I just don't know. Oh, man, I don't have time. Oh, that just, I know I deserve that frappuccino, like that pumpkin spice latte. Man, like. There's going to be tons of opportunities for us to allow excuses to get in the way. Now, excuses for you are going to be different than excuses for me, right? This is all an individual journey. But when we make a commitment, we also decide that we are not going to let excuses get in the way. And when I say excuses get in the way, I'm not just talking about fitness. I'm not just talking about nutrition. You guys know that I am all in with the faith part, and that is the most important part. And so when I say no excuses, I mean, ladies, when I want, when I encourage you to get in God's word every day, to be reading our, the, the, the um, devotion book, um, I mean, that's part of this commitment. So if you skip a scripture or you skip your prayer time in the morning, well, you commit it to being a better person. You signed a contract, actually. That's why I wanted to implement this contract because we signed this and we're saying, okay, God, I'm all in. I'm following this direction that you've put in front of me and I'm going to go all in. And so we're not going to be able to let the excuses. We cannot let the excuses keep us from giving like we can't let them cause us to stumble and allow us to give up so anytime you have you encounter something where you don't get that prayer time in the morning you don't get that me time you weren't able to push play or maybe your workout wasn't even as good as what you were hoping or what about you how to slip up with your nutrition it's all gonna happen guys it's all gonna happen it's been it happens with me too but we have to decide we've made a commitment and we're not going to let the excuse of I deserve this. I can't do this. I should have done this. We're not going to let those negative talks, even if we move, if we go through that thing that we shouldn't have done, then we're still not going to let that keep us from moving forward. So no junk, whatever that means for you. If you can focus on some areas that you know are clouding your home, clouding your mind, the things that are that you're thinking about way too much, the junky stuff, get it out of your house and we got to start learning how to get it out of our mind. So those negative thoughts, we're going to shut those down and then we're not going to give up. We just said we're not going to give up and we're not going to allow these little excuses that are coming from all angles to keep us from moving forward to become a better person. So the little tool that I have been doing that is just priceless, um, and I'm going to read to you mine because I'm adding to it all the time. And so that's what I want you to do. I want you to have a blank sheet of paper that you can actually start writing your own. So these are positive declarations. So what you'll write at the top of your page is, I declare... I am. Okay, so you're going to write, I declare 
I am. And then I'm going to read to you some of the ones that I've written down. So just be what you may want to have to do. This is what I do. I'm learning this from the podcast that I refer all I re, um, reference all the time. Terry Seville Foy is her name, and she has an has amazing podcast. But she does this all the time, and she's been teaching me this through podcasts. And every time she does a podcast, she'll often do this each time and say, this is what I'm doing. This is what I declare over my life. And the Lord is blessing me through these declarations. And so you may want to go back after this and listen to the ones that I'm reading so that you can create your own. So, okay. I declare, I am proactive. I am confident. I am courageous. I am called by God. I am brave. I am loved. I am treasured. I am strong. I am capable. I am qualified. I am disciplined, spirit, soul, and body. I am blessed to be a blessing. My spirit attracts God-inspired ideas that produce millions of dollars. I am highly favored of God. I am highly courageous in the pursuit of my dreams. I am sensitive to God's timing on my life. I, am, I take bold actions of faith. I am overwhelmed by God's favor on my life. I am embracing every opportunity God brings me. I am being comfortable, being uncomfortable. Love that one. I am open to change. I embrace every new season God has for me. So this is like an ongoing list that I keep adding to. Every time I listen to her podcast or every time I have something in my mind. And if you think about this, I am proactive. I am confident. I am courageous. These are things that I don't feel that I am. So that's where you start. That's how you start these declarations. It's the thoughts, those negative thoughts that go through your head. I'm lazy. I'm not confident. I can't do that. Well, what is it that you can't do? And then you turn that around and you write it out. And you say, I can stick with my nutrition for five days. I am brave. I am confident. Whatever it is that you struggle with, you're basically writing a declaration over your life, believing that you really are what you think you're not. And if anything else of this go for no in November, like this is the heart of it. Um, because when you start believing that you're confident, that you do have that, um, that you're capable, that you're loved, that you're treasured. When we start living in that mindset, it's pretty easy to say no to junk food. Because we are recognizing who we are and why we need to honor our body, why we need to say no. And when we don't want to get our workout in, when we recognize who we are in Christ, then we recognize that it's our way of honoring him. It's not about a task. It's about honoring him with a gift. It's saying, God, thank you so much that you have given me a beautiful life, that you have made me healthy. You've given me children. And thank you so much. So I'm going to get my butt out of bed. I'm going to push play because it's my way of giving thanks back to you for what you've already given me. So whatever it is that we face, when we start really recognizing that we are proactive, we are confident, that we are strong, we are capable, and we look at that from the, from the perspective of Christ, and really those are the words he's, he's telling us. If you think about that, these words that we are saying to ourselves are exactly what God has already spoken over you. We just don't believe it. So if you want to have some crazy peace and some crazy rock star November, Start writing these declarations over yourself and reading them out loud. And I will tell you a big disclaimer. I was very like, what in the heck is she talking about? And what, what? And, but now she did a podcast last week and she said, I think it was last week. I just listen to it all the time and I get them all intertwined. But she said, if you would have told me a year ago or to however many long when she started this, if someone were to walk in her house, they literally would have thought she needed to be checked into the loony bin because she is like yelling and talking to the top of her lungs. I am confident. I am strong. Like she, that's what she does now. And so she's like, if anyone ever walks in, <laughs> they're really going to think I'm crazy. But she said, the things that I have spoken 
out of my mouth are what are true today. They are true and I believe it. And that goes to as far as her dreams. If you want to have children, she's like, if you want to have children, if you want to have more children, or if you want to sell your home and buy some land, or if you want to start a new business, whatever she says, whatever it is that you want, if you want peace in your home, you know what she says to do? Say, thank you, God, for giving me a divine peace this holiday season like I've never had before. And say it today. That's the kind of faith and boldness that she asks and she says that we need to have. That if we want peace this holiday season, if we want to lose that last 20 pounds, if we want to lose that last 10 pounds, if we want to stay committed to our nutrition, if we really want to go different places, you know what she says? She says, say thank you for it now. So I'm going to challenge you guys. In addition to writing out your own personal declarations, I want you to start saying gratitude and giving thanks for what you want. So if you want to lose 10 pounds, if you want to lose 20 pounds, if you want to have a thriving business, if you, if you want to have a better relationship with your husband, even on mine, thank you, God, for restoring my marriage. Thank you, God, for allowing my husband and I to have a spark that is lasting that we've never had before. The things that I know God is going to give me, I'm telling him thank you for today. So I hope that that makes sense. And I hope that that gives a fresh, amazing perspective on really what kind of faith we're supposed to have. Um, and she, just to kind of give you another little idea, but she says, if you want to have like more children, this is like way out there and probably more bold than, I don't know that I could do it. I would have to, that's really hard. But if you are want to have more children, she says, you go. You buy the, the nursery furniture, you get that furniture set up, and you start praying every day, thank you, God, for this beautiful child that you have blessed me with. Before it ever happens, that's the kind of faith that we're called to have. We're called to have a faith that is not explainable. And you know why? And this is where all the pieces kind of pull together for me is that when God does, when we pray for something that we don't have, and then it comes to life, who can we give gratitude and thanks to? Him. That's the only person. That's the only explanation. But when we live comfortably, then we can take the credit. We can take the glory, right? So God calls us to a crazy, crazy faith of praying for things and giving thanks for things that only he can do right now so that we can say, I ain't got any explanation for that. The only reason is because I prayed it to happen and I knew it was going to happen and it did. It's only God. That's the only reason. So I hope that that's an encouragement to you all because I cannot even begin to tell you like my heart and my mind has literally taken a huge turn, um, turn upwards. Basically it was kind of here. My, my little turn on life was actually in here. I realized that I was trying to play God in my own life for many years and I never put that in perspective. Um, but my, my turn has gone straight up here and it's just really, really awesome. Um, what all these positive declarations are doing for me. So go for no with me, go for no junk, go for no negative thoughts, go for no giving up this, this month. You're not going to do it. Make this month different than every other month. You're not going to quit. And then go for no excuses. Do not, this month, you're not going to let those excuses that you've let come in in the past get you. You're not going to let it happen this month. So join me, do those positive declarations, and I promise you. So what are you going to write on your little post-it on your mirror? Y'all tell me. What does it say? I forgot. I will not give up. I will not give up. <laughs> I'm like, what did I tell you to do? <laughs> I will not give up. So we have to write that down. And actually, I am writing it right now. Let me write it on my sticky. Y'all write it on your sticky. I will not give up. Okay, so I will not give up. And I want that to be a daily reminder. And then... What I would like for y'all to do, if you feel more comfortable with this, there's two options. One is start your own list. You can't really see. Well, there you go. There's just a couple. Start your own list and post it to our app. 
or April and Ashley post it to our coaches group because I'm gonna I'm gonna upload this video on there so everyone will have the opportunity to do it post it on Facebook for all I, I mean you can say I got off this call and this is what I learned and I think you know whatever you want to post it anywhere you want but make sure you tag me so that I can see it um, but I just want to know that you've jumped in with me because I can't do this alone. I need you guys to support me and encourage me just like I am wanting to do for you guys. So, okay, so hopefully that was helpful. Any questions about anything? I didn't even ask for your questions up front. I'm sorry, I was like ready to roll. Um, so any questions about from Libby and Melissa about our group, about anything? Do y'all need anything? Do you, I mean, I just want to make sure you guys have all that y'all need as far as tools for um, the challenge group and everything. I don't have any questions. I loved this. This was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Good. <laughs> I'm so, so thankful that you guys got on. And it's, I can't, I don't know how else to tell the rest of the ladies, like, you're missing out, like, you're missing out on community, and that's what this is about, and so, I don't know, if you guys would not mind commenting on the video after I, my husband, I'm going to try to get him to do it tonight, and so, that way, when I post it tomorrow, if you guys will just comment on there, like, I encourage y'all to get on, that kind of thing, just so that y'all are kind of backing me, of like, hello, <laughs> you need to get on, so, thank you, I'm glad to, to be here, Libby, so, I appreciate you getting on. Well, definitely, I'm enjoying it because we we are fixed into uh, over here going for no for November, and I'm over here going. I'm fixing to be moving, and you know the foster to adopt licensings is fixing to be approved. So I'm fixing to take on about another one or two more kids at the same time, and this wow. all happened in November of all times to start this, but it's where I need it the most. Yep. So it this definitely hit at the right time. It you know for the encouragement for sure. Good. So I think that God honestly is kind of um, humorous in the way that He calls us to surrender. So Melissa, like clearly, this month is probably going to be one of the busiest months you've had all year, or <laughs> months in your entire life. But I think that literally I never clued into that part of what God wants me to do in my life. So I would panic and I would fear that I'm going to fail. So I would go through the whole process of what God was really trying to teach me and try to fight back and take ownership of what I could control. Um, so I don't know if that makes sense or not, but that's what I've done for the majority of my life. That's all I knew how to do. I wasn't connecting that God was throwing all of this, this tornado at me to get me to surrender. He was saying, Chanel, you cannot do all of this. Are you crazy? And what <laughs> I would do is say, wait a second, God, you're not going to be pleased with me if I don't try. You're not going to love me. You're, you're, you're going to think negatively of me if I don't just give it more this month. Give, do more this month. Try my best. Like that's how I receive that. But when he's throwing at you more than you can handle, what he's saying is, sister, do what you can do and then get your butt on your knees and ask me to do the rest so that I can help you and I can get the glory. So I think that when it comes to your nutrition and fitness, which is going to be the first things that are, that are going to want to go. And that's the first thing that Satan is going to be sitting right here on your shoulder and saying, Melissa, it's okay. You don't have to get your workout in. You're exhausted. You have too many things on your plate. Give yourself some grace. Like that's what Satan's going to be telling you. And then he's going to say that late night snack, girl, you've worked so hard. You got up this morning. You did your workout. You did your devotion. You deserve that ice cream like you deserve like that's what satan's going to tell you that's what he tells us all and unfortunately we listen and we say we're not strong enough so that's what happens is that we listen to those voices that aren't true and then we combat them with more voices that aren't true so yes this is what you're probably have to pray at the beginning of every day of god i can't do this i don't know how i'm going to get my workout in and work on me i don't know how i'm going to stay on track with my nutrition but I know you know how to do this. So you're going to have to surrender your day. There's no other explanation. And I can just say that for me over the last several months, when I have finally done this, 
the, there's a peace inside of me that I've never, ever had. I just turned 36 years old and I have never had the sense of peace and freedom that I have today. And it is because I finally made the connection of Chanel. Yes, you better get your butt up and do your workout. You better spend some time with me. You better do your part, but then you better go to bed and rest. Let me do all that you cannot do. And it's just been amazing. So I think that you will find the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe in you, Melissa. I believe in you. It's going to be so hard, but that's where, that's where on November the 30th, you're going to be able to say, thank you, God, for pulling through like I knew you would. Thank you for helping me stay on track. Thank you for helping me get to where I'm at today. It's going to be him, not you. Yep. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Yeah, I just got to stop thinking of all the things I've got to get done and just do one day at a time. Yep. And I've noticed that, you know, the last, this morning I did not get up at 445 because I was sore and I was so exhausted. So I gave myself an extra hour, but I still got my workout in. I still did everything. But the one thing I pray before I go to bed at night is, Lord, you know I can't get up on my own. You've got to help me get up because I hate waking up <laughs> early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And I, 4.45 has come easy for me the past couple of mornings, except for this morning because the they love the push-ups. I, I don't like push-ups, <laughs> and my whole upper, upper body hurts. <laughs> <laughs> And that is just all part of it. Man, that soreness and all of that is just going to be another reason why we can't. But you did it. So that's the thing. You're going to totally forget that you didn't get up when you wanted. You did what you needed to do. Call it a day. Like you did what you need. You could do and you did perfect. So awesome. <laughs> so, okay, ladies. Well, I am going to transition um, over with April and Ashley on our coaches call. And so you all are welcome to stay, but you don't have to. I promise to keep this brief and we are a little over the time limit that I was hoping for. So I I'll start preaching. Y'all got to say, whoa, hold up, sister. <laughs> you already got over time. So yeah, because I'll get carried away. So y'all have to remind me it's time. You're over your time. Um, but okay, well, you guys, like I said, you can stay on or um, you guys can, are free to go and you know where to find me. I definitely want to make sure y'all have all that you need. So if you're feeling overwhelmed or you're lacking something, please let me know because I, if you don't tell me, I have no idea that you're, you're needing something um, and I want to make sure you have what you need. So, okay, ladies, well, thanks for being on. Thank you so much for being on. <laughs> All right, Ashley and April, both of you guys look like y'all are like mad women, like running around everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's it's my um, only off day this week, so I'm everything. just trying to cram everything I can into today before I go back to work tomorrow. So yeah, okay. it's kind of madness over here. You're totally, totally fine. Um, April, how are you? I think I saw your husband. Is he doing okay? <laughs> yeah, he's just recouping, and I'm just trying to help him get some things done. Actually, right now, he's waiting on me. Um, but, yeah, and I faith birthday this weekend, so I've just got, you know, you know, just tons of things going on. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to briefly walk through the power hour that we all need to be doing every single day. We won't actually do the power hour. But what I'm going to ask of you all is that you do get it done at some point today and then post it to the group that you did it. Um, so basically what you, we all need to do for our power hour. So we're, we've switched hats. <laughs> um, we are doing the, our coaches call. So it is November the 9th and today we're going to talk just a really brief moment about power hour and why that's super, super important for us to grow our business because we have to have daily activities. So it's just like clocking in and out of work, right? So we have to literally sit down, clock in, put our coach's hat on, dive in, get the maximum amount of stuff done in the shortest amount of time that we can, and then clock out. Um, so how do we do this? Well, the first thing that we need to do is we need to write out what our tasks are. So basically what your tasks are is your power of five, so what is your power of five? You need to write a space somewhere 
on your notebook or on the paper that I've already given you. You already, you already have that. Um, and you can make it your own. I know Ashley has taken different ones. I empower you to find what works for you. I give you the tools, then you make it work for you. So you definitely, guys, we've got to be adding new friends to our network. That's the first thing we got to do every day. Why? Because if we don't do that, we won't ever do that. And then you're going to run out of people and you're going to have all this, like, who am I supposed to talk to? Well, if you add new people every day, you're going to have plenty of people to talk to. So your first thing, that should only take five minutes. So I want you to write out, add new people, five minutes. Only give yourself five minutes to do that. And if, if you can take less, that's awesome. So you literally need to get out your timer and let's set the timer for five minutes. The second thing is, is that you need to message people. So when people have accepted your friend request, or if you met someone at the, your a kid's birthday party, or you met somebody on Facebook who say you had some people comment on your videos or they liked your videos, this is a really great tip. I want you to write this down. When you're posting your videos or you're posting your content on Facebook, when people like it or comment on it, that's who you message that day. Yeah. You go back and say, hey, how's it going? You don't automatically say you want to join. You just start conversation. And that's what message means, start conversation. You really only want to give yourself five minutes for that. Five people, five minutes, a minute apiece. Send them a little message. And, of course, you all know that you can copy and paste that same message, how's it going, whatever you want it to be. Um, I like to listen, send some voicemail messages, too, so you can always do that. And then the next thing is inviting. So if you've messaged five people and each one of them has messaged you back, then you don't need to give the give four or five swapping back messages. This is what I'm learning myself. Don't allow four and five messages to go back and forth with these people. You answer them directly what they responded. You make a nice comment and then you say, hey, before I forget, I want to invite you to this. Because what I'm realizing is I go back to message people. I just thumb through the friends list. I'll go and I'm like, I had like a, a two day conversation with this person and I never invited them. I never invited. So don't let those conversations go on too long. Invite. So you have friending, then you have messaging. And then when those people message you, follow up with an invite and you got to get in. We got to get in those five invites a day. And then let's see here. So that's 15 minutes. Um, I just want to make sure I'm going um, at three friends. Okay. Then your next thing is, is you need to be posting, get your post on social media that you are, uh, have already done or you're going to do. In my opinion, the best way to do this is what I've taught you guys from day one, pick your three main things about you that make you, you. So all of us here, we're healthcare people. We have to be including something in our post about healthcare, about medical moms, about medical fur moms. I love that Crystal posted that, um, which is awesome. Like anything that makes you, you, we have to be consistently posting about. So for me, I know I'm going to have my faith post in the morning, some sort of motivating faith post. And then I'm going to have my fitness post because that is part of who I am. And then usually there is a medical or a mama post of some sort throughout the day. So make sure you get those three things. Schedule it out or have it written on a calendar. So you guys know I use my passion planner and basically I already know what groups and what everything I'm, I'm doing all week. So if I'm preparing for coaching, for next week, then all my posts this week are going to be geared towards coaching if I'm inviting people to coaching. So just have a plan. Have a plan. Because if you don't have a plan, when it comes to the time where you're supposed to be making sure your posts on social media are, you're ready to post, you're going to be sitting there for an hour trying to think of a post. So if you're planning it out, part of your power hour is to schedule posts or make sure that you have a post. Then the next thing in your power hour, you could give yourself 15 minutes to come up with three posts in your power hour. Because think about it, if you're doing this every day, basically you could be planning your post for the next day, every day at your power hour. And then you're done. You don't even have to think about the next day because you're already planning it the day before. Then your next thing, so you've done 15 minutes, so here's your other 15 minutes, is you give yourself the time to check in in your challenge groups. 
post in your challenge groups, encourage people in your challenge groups, whatever it is that you need to do. Give yourself some time though, one time a day, one to two times a day. I usually check mine in the morning and in the evening. Um, post in your challenge groups and you want to comment on their, their things and everything. In addition to that, because that's probably not going to take you 15 minutes, is one time a week. I know I've said this a hundred times, but you guys need to be personally reaching out to your challengers. So in addition to the group, you need to be reaching out to them individually. And then um, I think that basically sums up those tasks. The last thing is your personal development. You got to be doing it every single day. You need to be doing personal as well as professional. So if you're not reading some sort of professional development, you've got to start reading your professional development stuff too. So basically that is your power hour. You can give yourself the 15 minutes to do personal development and that's kind of where your hour comes in. And if you'll just set a timer and only allow a certain amount of time, we will get it all in. Every time I set a timer and do it, I get it all in. So, um, okay. I think that really, really is the most, the quickest, power hour talk I've ever given. Um, but you get it. Y'all know this stuff, but I think it's just a reminder that we have to get them in. And if we're working, so say we're working three days that week or two days that week, whatever it may be, then three of those days, we got to get in a solid power hour. And if that means we got to invite 10 people instead of five, that's what it means. Um, and we can do this. We can do this. Um, so that wraps up power hour. So my challenge for you all as coaches is that if you will post some sort of paper document, something, and I will post this to what your power hour looked like today. And I will challenge you guys. I'm going to try in our group page, our coaches page to do a week, like a three times a week. I saw post, okay, post me your power hour below in the comments. And so I would expect that y'all would follow it in the comments of what your power hour looks like um, for the week. So, okay, I think we're done guys. Is there, do y'all have any questions? Um, I was going to ask, so Ashley and I have been kind of talking and we're going to run a true like test group. We're going to attempt to advertise a true test group for Court of Force to start the week after the Monday after Thanksgiving. And we're going to offer like cash prize. We're going to try to really rev up trying to get a Court of Force because I only have one person really doing it right now. So I think people just need a little more time to see that we're doing it. Um, so Ashley, is there anything else we need to talk about as far as that goes? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, we talked about the kind of types of pictures we want for advertisement. So if any coaches, any other coaches want to um, try to advertise for that group, for only that group, test group, then we were thinking of doing three types of pictures. One where you're kind of like punching into the camera with a smile, um, a serious kind of like fight for yourself photo, and then one holding some cash because the goal is for one of the, I guess the top prize would be a um, hundred dollar cash prize. Um, I guess the thing to discuss would be what would be, what would the prize be for? Like, is it for a best transformation in 30 days? Is it, best transformation in 60 days like what what is the who wins the money yeah or the group maybe the group could vote once people post their before and afters it could be like a page vote and whoever gets it wins i don't know but that'll be yeah. something we'll have to discuss. i know that um one of the calls <laughs> that i posted um the from jatana in our group that's what they do mm -hmm. they do a group-wide um vote they and okay can either do you could do like oh best overall transformation um you could obviously do different categories but as but yeah i think that we could easily just ask everybody to cast their vote and that would get everyone to do their after pictures which is always an issue um you know it's always an issue to keep them going so yeah no i think that that's a great idea okay um so april how you and y'all started your group on monday right Okay. Okay, cool. How is your um, cousin feeling? Did she have people to, you said she had like three people to invite, right? Or that joined? Yep, they're doing it. She's, she's actually doing really great. I mean, I've just asked her, you know, at least post once a day. I didn't want to put too much on her plate, but I had her ask her at least post one thing a day. I told her either, you know, her, because she's, you know, she does her devotion or, um, 
something uh, encouraging, a recipe, something. She's, a, a, she's been doing great. Okay. Awesome. 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 Um, and yeah, like Ashley was saying on uh, the day after or the week after Thanksgiving, we're going to try to do the core to four. So what program are y'all doing mixed programs or like, yeah. Okay. Mixed. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's kind of what's going on in mind. I mean, I started the quarter force, which I really am enjoying a lot. Um, I, I so tried it, but I don't, I just, I don't, I'm not much of a puncher fighter. I feel, it just makes me feel weird. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's where we grow too, though. <laughs> so you ought to give it a shot at some point um, because the video, basically it alternates. Um, you have like a fighting day and then you have a strength day and the strength day is, um, not at all like that. I mean, it's, it does have a few moves, but it's much slower. Um, but yeah, so it's always good. I think for us to get out of our comfort zone, that's how I feel with Tony Horton. Like I don't connect with him at all. Um, and, but I like did one of his workouts last week and I'm like, dang, that was, um, that was awesome <laughs> just to mix it up, you know? So it's always, um, that's what I like. We have that option, but, but yeah. Okay. So I'm glad everything's going good. So that's our plan. So we'll need to heavily start promoting that, um, probably next, the end of next week and push, push, push. I mean, what we'll probably end up doing, this is just my thought is that what I've been seeing on challenge groups and you guys may have seen this too, is if you, if we don't advertise all the way up to the date, Oftentimes we either don't get people or we get last minute stragglers in like, I feel like the start date of a challenge group really needs to be like, you're basically doing a jump start the first week because most people, some people are either waiting on their packet or they're totally confused. That's what just happened with my last group. Like they were totally confused. They're pan Some of them were panicking because they thought they were getting the containers in their program, but they didn't order 21 day fix. And so they were just like, what's going on? Half of them couldn't find a Shakeology recipe. They were, they didn't, some of them didn't even do their before pictures and measurements. Like it was so much and so overwhelming. So I think that it's an awesome opportunity. This is where that whole sneak peek into challenge groups comes in is we would start on the week, the Monday after but it's not like we would tell them we're going to start, meaning you need to commit to your nutrition, go ahead and start pushing play, but we want to give you time to get comfortable. And then we could actually invite people to join us in the app who want to see what it's like. So if we have any scragglers who just won't pull the trigger, then we can say, Hey, join us for a week. Let me give you a five day meal plan. Just join us for that week. See how you like it. And then if they don't want to continue, they don't want to continue. But, um, it, that really works well because we're giving them a free opportunity to just try it out. And then of course we would remove them and then we would say, okay, here it is. We're actually going to push play, push start, start the challenge. It would basically be that following week. Um, and of course some people are going to do awesome, but I feel like I just want to throw that out there because I don't want us to stress if we don't have everybody we need a week before the challenge starts, if that makes sense. Um, okay. Okay. So we're done. Any questions at all about anything? Yeah. How are you? You always ask how we are, but how are you doing? <laughs> are you okay I, over there? really good like it's it's a crazy thing it really is it's not I can't explain it which is what I think it's supposed to be like but I just um gosh I just have had a huge heart and mind switch and it just has helped me so much um and yeah I'm good I, I'm not stressed really about anything and there's a lot of big things coming up like we're losing our our nanny basically in um, December so that's gonna be a huge impact on our family but I'm like God's got this like I don't know what to do or to say or I just like I'm just not worried about that and then Matthew and I for the first time ever have been having normal conversation about the future <laughs> about the business about all these things and so I just feel really good um we and I'll probably I'll go ahead and tell y'all because this is just something that we're heavily praying about but 
we know we're going to move back to East Texas. Um, that's just a hands down going to do it because we just have felt that's where God wants us and wants mm -hmm. us to raise our boys. Um, our family's there. We want land. Like what I want is literally on my dream board and it is this big house with a pond, ranch, horses, where like I can literally have y'all, I can minister to everyone at my place, like have retreat, um, minister to other medical moms and their families. Like I just like know that that's what God's calling me to. So it's crazy. And I'm like, I don't know how in the heck he's going to do all that, but I know he is. And so, and Matthew's a hundred percent on board. He's like, yeah, I, I think this is what we need to do. I don't know. I have no, I have no explanation, but, um, so we're, it'll, it's, we, Tatum has a year. We have a whole nother year before he would start school. And so we have that much time, but I also don't know if I mentioned on the call yet. I'm sure I have, but God has basically told me he, he can't do with me what he wants to do because I'm still working um, mm -hmm. as a nurse practitioner. And so he has heavily put that on my heart and I keep, you know, I've told Matthew, I'm like, that's scary to me. And I don't even know what to think about that. But he has been saying, Chanel, like you cannot keep doing this all like you can't. And so I just know that that is big in our future. And I already told my boss that I don't want to work more than two days in January, starting January. So, um, but I know that he's not going to, until I, we have that much faith to, for me to walk away, which is going to be a huge deal. Um, I just don't think I'm going to grow. I don't think he's going to be able to show me what he really wants me to do. Um, so, so anyways, so much coming down the pipe, like from our end, but I, it's just the craziest thing. I have like the weirdest piece about all of it that I've never had. So it's, and I'm telling y'all like those positive declarations and like that prayer stuff that I've been doing, I've been doing it every day. And basically over the last year, finally God was like, he's took off these like scales from my eyes and it's just a true thing. And it really happened to me. And I'm just like thankful. Um, but just speaking that positive stuff over myself every day and living in that is it's craziness. And so I just, I'm good. I really am good. <laughs> and um, who knows what I'll be to this afternoon, but like right now I'm really good. <laughs> So I hope that that's an encouragement to you guys because I'm telling you like this business is hard, but I am a hundred percent believe that God put it in our lives for a reason. And I even have been as bold to tell God, like, I'm okay if you don't want Beachbody to be my primary stream of income, or if that's not the primary thing you want to do with me, I'm fine with that. Um, but I have people that need me right now. And this is what I'm going to keep doing until you tell me otherwise. And um, Matthew basically confirmed that like, it's everything. It's everything you need. It's everything that you desire. Like there's no reason he doesn't believe there's any reason why Beachbody would not be what helps us build our dreams, you know, and all that stuff. So he's totally supporting. And he basically told me on Monday, I'm kind of excited and I, I can't wait to start planning your events and your retreats and planning and doing all that stuff for you when your team gets big. So he, he's on board. Um, so it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. So thank you for asking Ashley. <laughs> um, I gotta go before my husband kills me though. I'm sorry. I, I gotta get, I gotta help him do some things or you're fine. Or, you know, you're totally, totally fine. No worries. Okay. Bye. Yeah, all. Bye. 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 <laughs> Um, but yeah, and I, I need to, um, well, and I'll, I'll put, say it on here, but, um, Tabitha, one of our coaches is mm -hmm. so close to having her baby. Um, but she's been ha going through a really, really hard time. She's been really sick. And so mm -hmm. she actually was in the hospital last week and, um, baby seems fine, but she just is going through a really hard time. So yeah. I just wanted to make sure I mentioned her and asked everyone to lift her up in prayer. Um, and I'll probably post individually on our page too, but okay. anyways, well, I'll let okay. you go. Um, I know you've got, I'm sure you have your next thing ready to roll. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's never ending. That's for sure. But I know. Uh, I'll, I'll get sit still eventually. Yes. Um, but yeah, just send me those pictures and then whenever you get a chance, it's not a rush. And, um, I'll talk to Ebony and see if she's 
in for sure and if she'll send me some pictures as well okay. so I can start kind of playing around with some stuff and we can get the the ball rolling because I have yet to like invite people that have purchased with me in the past like shoot them an email and ask them to be a part of it or okay. advertise for it at all so um yeah I need to get on doing that yeah I mean and you'll you have some time I know like um what I have been doing is I'll just like go to my back office and write out those names and then just go ahead and plug them in my schedule so like every day I could do five of those names and that's kind of what I did last week and um of course you know it's there's always going to be a who knows outcome of that but at least that would give you some kind of structure so that way when you're exhausted, you know, okay, there's only these five people. Let me just send them a message. <laughs> right, right. But, right. All right. Well, mm -hmm. I'll let you go. And um, I'm excited to, to be in the, to do a group with you. It'll be fun. And I yeah. just need to pray that we'll have some new fresh blood that mm -hmm. we can um, encourage. That's what I just keep praying of like, God, just send me people that need us, that need what we have to offer, that we can truly help change their life. And um, he's going to bring it. And that's what I've actually been praying already saying, thank you, God, for bringing me those people. Cause I know mm -hmm. he's going to do it. Um, and I just believe it. So yeah, it's all good. So we'll have a good rest of your day and then all we'll right. see you soon. Okay. Yes. All, all right. right. Bye. Bye.